In this series, what is this super modernized creature? Cameraman Titan rests while Spiker-Man Titan works out? Who is on the roof? What does a brotherly handshake mean? The series begins with Cameraman rescuing his ally from a Skibidi toilet. But as soon as the rescued victim shows the signature gesture, he is thrown back by a blast wave, and the viewer can face a monstrously oversized Skibidi with seemingly unbelievable weaponry. Let's take a brief look at the equipment and gear of this Skibidi. First, let's take note of his dual blades on the left and right sides. Most likely their purpose is to take out small bipeds in close combat, and I'm sure these blades can handle our not-so-strong agents anymore. We'll talk about that later though. Next we see two lasers, the power of which remains a mystery. Apparently, these are incredibly powerful medium and long-range weapons, but they are used for more precise extermination, as if the enemy is already in the crosshairs. The most tidbit is the four-pointed warheads, capable of mass destruction with a large hit radius and unrealistic blast wave. In short, a missile in a word. And the missile appears to be the most dangerous weapon. I came to this conclusion thanks to the following shots, when our favorite Titans come into view. Let's pay attention to the Titan's Spiker Man. We can observe that as soon as he landed on the left side of the charged Skibidi, his first action was to destroy the missiles. Again, let me draw your attention to the speed of the Titan's Spiker Man. While Skibidi was pointing his missiles at Spiker Man Titan, not even a second passed, as with one wave of his hand, after disarming him, Spikerman Titan stunned the Skibidi and left him to Cameraman Titan. At least he left something behind. Back to the Red Avenger's further actions. He heard that a Skibidi helicopter was approaching from behind him, and due to his speed, decided to keep him company and dance a quick waltz with him, at the end of which he threw him into the building and left only ashes from him. During the Cameraman Titan kicks Skibid's head into the toilet with his own missiles, and then he also knocks him out with a strike. And here it is, the long-awaited moment that everyone has been waiting for. The return of the Spiker Man. No. You just listen to how strongly the Defukbum feels this ironic moment. I'll leave you for a few seconds, to feel that emotion again. Okay, a few seconds have passed, so I'll steal your attention again and turn it to the roof, where we can see two characters, one of which is a Defukbum character, and without the green glow. After which, my friends, I will personally salute this moment, here it is the brotherly handshake. I don't know about you, but I am genuinely excited to watch Spiker-Man Titan make amends for all the damage done to his allies during the infestation period. Most of all, I'm happy that our beloved cameraman Titan can deservedly rest, or rather, he may not have to exert all his efforts. As we know, the best soldier is the kind of soldier who has his own revenge goal, and Spikerman Titan has an overly strong revenge goal.